Hello everyone, today I'm just showing a little tutorial to war selection so that you can get right into it. Um, first thing you want to do, okay villagers, I beat that guy last round so ignore that chat. Um, I'm, we're just replaying each other, we got put into ranked again because I guess no one else was queuing. So yeah, first thing you want to do, build a house as soon as possible. Um, get that population cap up because you have the starting wood right available for you um have all your villagers go straight on food as soon as possible because you want to get your food supply going that's the resource that's really going to drop the fastest in the beginning i deleted that tower because it's essentially useless um the it really does nothing if he rushes you you're doomed. The tower does nothing. I don't even know why it's there. But anyway, moving on. So, mostly setting my villagers. Um, trying to pump out houses and villagers at the same speed. Wood collection is generally good in the beginning. So, you want to focus on food. But eventually, you are going to have to shift your villagers over to the woods. I think I do it a little bit late. Like, right Probably right about now is when you want to shift to start going to um, the woods. Let's see if I do it. Oh, yep. There we go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so generally just spam houses, put villagers on food, and then put them on wood. Um, get this supply steady. You want the food to maybe steadily increase a bit. Um, honestly, Q, 20 villagers just so it never expires you may as well just so you can do it fast um as fast as you can because i mean this is a 1v1 you're generally not going to get someone rushing you because they have no idea where you are on this whole map if you're in a team battle that's a different story you might have someone rush you but rushing generally it screws over the person who rushes and the player who um who gets rushed so mm, I generally don't do it I have seen it work but that's not what this guy is gonna talk about so right now I'm constructing a temple see I have kind of steady villager production and I'm able to construct housing and then finally I'm able to construct the temple all at the same time that's generally what you want to go for until you have that steady resource supply, don't even worry about constructing the temple or edging up. I'll show you as a comparison. My other guy, or the, the guy I was like, playing against, he ages up quicker than I do. But as you can see, he's not really making any more villagers anymore. He's focusing on aging up, which drains a lot of resources. So he's not able to build those houses. He's stuck at six houses. Meanwhile, I'm at like 10, 12 houses, which means all those means more villagers for me. Um, generally, you want to only advance in tech or building that temple when you can keep producing villagers and tech at the same time. Now, see, I have just an abundance of resources. I'm able to put up a, a barracks just in case something does happen he's teched up but you'll see later really doesn't matter um and i'm just about to tech up as well but with way more resources i have 50 villagers already it's about seven eight minutes into the game and i'm able to get a farm going see i try crafting it there to get these animals um but i didn't see the mammoth so i get just cucked right there and I have to deal with that just throw a few villagers have the mammoth follow it and then it used to be that the animals would just follow you wherever but now they'll like go back to their original position if you go too far so I had to build a farm back um I tried building a farm up because generally if you collect from these cows that I think these herds and cows will usually spawn um next year starting position just gives you more food 
if you're in like a starting position where you have cows right next to you try and get those prioritize over those over the berries because it's just better resource gain as you can see here so i'm prioritizing food um right now because food is just the you need the most of that you have so many villagers that you have to upgrade at this point so i upgrade all the villagers that i want working on food as soon as possible and get them this is for eastern europe by the way um i mean i pick europe but i'm just gonna end up going eastern europe in the end but yeah so um i i, I like europe especially for single 1v1s because you can there's no unit cap asia does have a unit cap asia is a little bit cheaper but europe generally has the better quality quality so yeah um see as you can see he's he's really fallen behind in villagers here he picked a fight with an alligator bad idea i don't know why you do that i do like he has the the dual stone resource collection that's pretty good but would have been better if he scouted out and got the ones up here but i don't know if he has vision on that so now i'm getting enough resources i reached my population cap that's 60 villagers at 12 minutes right now um and then i i usually i'll create 10 villagers once i age up into this age I'll create 10 villagers, stick them right on iron. You want to get that iron resource going um, because you'll really be a, have an abundance of the other resources and iron lets you age up into the next two ages. So I have that going. Um, then I did pop cap, um, map reveal, and then the age up. And that's usually how I do it. Pop cap is good because you can start recruiting soldiers. And I use these soldiers to scout. Because I'm not able to see his part of the map. And I want to find out where he is so I can ruin his day, essentially. As you can see, really, I have no resource concerns at this point. I have about 60 villagers. Um, I am going to create another 10 to 20 villagers probably gradually. But at this point, I start having a, a balance where I'll keep enough room, maybe like 20, 20 um, population available just to create some spearmen because I want to have a standing army at this point. In comparison, see, he always gets spawned with like all this territory, and I just get this the the bad part of the map, so messed up. But anyway, as you can see, in comparison, he has a big standing army, but not a lot of resource allocation, um, or resource collection. Feel bad for this guy, but I'm gonna use him as an example. What not to do? First of all. Two little villagers collecting food right now. Um, second of all, he's attacking these animals for no reason when it's just a waste of health and they're a natural kind of guard. So unless they're blocking resources or you're going to attack, don't attack the animals. Um, two little villagers on stone, too many villagers on iron. You do not need that much iron in the um, in the starting age. You need the wood stone mostly. Um, and as I said, food, most important resource. At this point, I am starting to kind of scout. So I scouted into his base. I harassed him a little bit. I'm now going around. I'm taking my guys. Going all the way around, you just shift, uh, click to move over, and you guys will naturally follow that path. I'm now chasing these villagers around. Really bad idea, I think, on his part to move all the villagers. I kind of get it, but the problem is that now all those people are not collecting resources. I'm just chasing them, chasing them around the map, and he stopped microing them anyway. So now I just I got a few kills. 
and his villagers are all out of position, and that's that. So I had to restart recording since I'm using a free software. Just want to tone it down a little bit and do a quick little analysis of the position um, and what's going on. I'm just focusing on harassment right now, moving my troops up to try and get him. Um, I told him I was going to tower rush him. That does happen because towers are way too strong. Um, I guess it makes sense historically, but yeah. So right now... I'm really just trying to get my villagers out. I have a decent food production, but I have to focus on upgrading because I'm on the other age. Note how, if you remember, I'm sure you do, he aged up before me the first time. But now, I'm way above him in the age. Because, one, all his people are just running around aimlessly at this point. Two, he has a huge army, and he did not prioritize villagers, so he can't really maintain anything. And I just am constantly able to collect resources and upgrade villagers as soon as possible, which gives me even more production, and I have loads of barracks. I'm just going to create a bunch of troops and try and harass them as much as possible. So yeah, at this point... I do start claiming some some of the farther resources um, just because you don't want too many guys crowding up around one one like stone one iron deposit I I really shift guys off of the forest at this point too because these are just a lot closer and it's easier to manage I kill some of the animals at this point because you know they're there they're in my way I'm trying to expand but I have pikemen, so I can actually take the mammoths pretty well. So over here, I'm trying to tower rush, but then I realize there's just animals everywhere, and I'm kind of doomed. So I, I give up on that idea. I move my pikemen over to, <laughs> to protect my villagers, but I meant to be able to construct towers. I accidentally built two workshops, so think of those as essentially wasted resources, but it doesn't even matter because I'm still in age above him. He's realized that my that my troops are coming in and I'm probably going to tower rush him. So he's like, oh, let me cover, cover myself. He's way too late. He doesn't have the resources to put up this many towers. Um, so it's generally a bad idea. He only has like seven, eight, I don't know how many people working on food. I have far more, far more, far more, far more. It's like, I have about 70 villagers at this point, or maybe 65-ish. I have some idle, because I'm going to try and build a tower here. This guy is just dumb, and I wasn't even controlling him. He's idling, and he started attacking this tiger like a fool. But that's just what happens in this game. Um, I haven't even checked to see if there's an auto attack setting. I finally get this forge up. You need a forge in order to build towers as you're up. One unfortunate thing, um, and towers are pretty expensive, but they are stronger than Asia. So, that's good. He's going to see my men because I am in his territory right now. I don't know why he hasn't moved to attack. Oh, there he goes. And I'm way too late on this tower production, but doesn't even matter because at the moment I'm just really bringing in more guys. I should have called these back, but whatever. You make some mistakes in life. I have swordsmen. Swords counter the spears, if you didn't know, and he's still on early game spearmen. He's really behind at this point. This is where it's like, it's GG at this point. I'm just way too far ahead of him in the ages. I am going to build a tower defense because I don't really know where he's at right now. I don't know if he teched up or not. Okay, he did actually just tech up. Which, uh, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, um, people would say this is way too much field. Like, why the hell did I make this many, <laughs> this much wheat? But I just do not like having a focus on my food production. I want them collecting as much as possible without me having to micro it 
that much, so I just spam a few clicks, and yeah, sometimes it overextends, but whatever. So at this point, I'm just really focusing on... See, he built the tower so far up, now the mammoths are coming in, and he's got to waste all all that health on killing those mammoths. Um, right now, I have my swordsman to counter him. I'm building a little defensive perimeter. He could easily go around, but remember, he has no idea where I am. Um, and he has no idea what my base looks like, because I've just been on the attack. Because I have those resources down. And if you have those resources down... You're able to go on the attack a lot harder, and uh, and then he's kind of just stuck in his base, not able to do anything. Um, I think it goes Western Europe in this game, but I don't know. I didn't really build cavalry. I like infantry a lot better. I think they hit for more damage in this game. I don't know why he killed all his spearmen. Um... He should have just upgraded them. He, I guess he wanted Popcap maybe for more villagers, but it's way too late at this point. Um, he should have done that decades ago. As you can see, I probably have... I've definitely created more villagers at this point. Um, again, I do map reveal... Or sorry, I do Popcap, map reveal, and then I age up. That's always the order that I do it in. Um, well, first, building villagers first. That's a priority. Alright, so this is where the tactics come in. So I kind of distract him. I send a few guys up. I'm going <laughs> I'm going to flank him right now. Going over here. But I kind of just send a few guys so he keeps his troops on the south. And now he thinks, oh, he's only coming from the south. His base is totally in the south. I don't want him to know where I am. I am going to flank him, he realizes it, at this point, he doesn't go in because he probably sees that I have swords coming, he's a little scared, bad idea on his part, because I'm going to get my towers up. My swords do beat him anyway, I think, just because the swords beat spears, I think he could, he could have won, but my tower just went up way too fast, and he can't kill a tower with that many troops. So he does wait for some reinforcements over here. But now I have two towers, and that's it. You want If you're going for the tower rush, which I did warn him I was going to do, you really want to cluster the towers. Um, because you'll see here. Watch him try and take this down, right? He's losing guys. And these towers are pretty cheap. You can always repair them, and his guys are just falling one by one. And because they're clustered, just constant arrow fire. And uh, meanwhile, I'm all ready. I'm going to go to the industrial age. I do have the resources for it at the moment. But I'm having fun. I'm building a bunch of towers. He's stuck. He hasn't even upgraded his houses. I'm just flanking him with these towers. Um, I've been constantly creating swordsmen. I just kind of put... 10, 10, 10, 10 in the production queue, trying to, you really just want to put as many guys out there as possible, um, soon he deletes his town center, I think it's right about here, when he realizes, like, oh yeah, he's just doomed at this point, but yeah, um, honestly, yep, there we go, GG, so the biggest thing I have to say is you want to focus on production, and be as efficient as possible. You never want... This town center should be producing something at all times. Because it's the only thing you have to make villagers, to upgrade technologies. You want to constantly doing something or else you're wasting it. Barracks. You want to constantly doing something or else you're wasting it. Um, but prioritize resource production or collection. Um, yeah, that's basically just really if you want to win this game, be as efficient as possible. That's what it comes down to. Be efficient and fast and villagers, villagers, villagers. That's how you win and that's how you age up and that's how you're abstract country before them. So there you go.